make on a go like he goes home. All the pipelines from Igbo land, their small uh, cup of oil that they produce, the pipeline, we cut it off, give them their own, no problem. We give them their own, make them go. Let the Igbos go. No problem. There be no way uh, Alaba market, uh, Ladipa market, uh, Kambuta market. No, all those things will no longer be there. Let the Igbos go. Let the Igbos go. Please, President Ahmed Bola I am going to write, I am going to collect signatories of over one million people all over Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We are going to send it to the National Assembly. We will march to the National Assembly. Demand that the National Assembly should allow the Igbos go. This man is a joker. He's a joke. Who told him we care about oil in Nigeria? We believe so much in human resources. Igbos has made it for so many years that the war ended without even coming close to Asorok. Igbos own oil well. In so many places, it was not given to them. They pay for it, just like they are buying houses everywhere in Lagos, and they are now busy destroying it. Why is it that some people are selfish, tribalizing, self-centered? The flanny call Ibo's dot in a circle. Why Asari has come not to castigate Ibo's because of what? Because of oil. You should go and drink oil. Who told him we are interested of interested in oil? We made it. Without oil, and what makes him think that now we need oil? For Yoruba, some of them, they are tribalized. They will never they will rather die than allow Ibo to come into Asorok. This is what you're seeing today. I don't want to waste my time answering such people. Because people be draft election to date, nobody has rest. They continue to castigate Ibos for no reason. We shall see. I want you to go ahead and listen to someone who said that the oil in Baisa belong to them. It's not me. We don't have anything to do with you. Go ahead and listen to him. Every day people will not go hear what. Ejo oil, Baisa oil belongs to Chikama people. And we shall do everything possible to defend our oil in Baisa because God put our oil in Baisa. Now, again, I said the back claim that he's not an Igbo man, he's a Biafra. That they should allow Ibos to go with their one cup of oil. That was he says that was. But I'm not going to discuss that much. I will also allow someone to answer sorry on what he said because I am getting tired of this old man. You say we are not Ibo. Why are our ancestors, all our progenitors, bearing Ibo name? And why are the communities bearing Ibo names? Why does our culture and tradition, everything symbolizes Igbo? Why do you have gods like Amadioha, gods like uh, Rem? The same thing you call Rem in the Korean land, some part of Abakeleke people call it Rem. What is all this? If you bring 1,000 Ikwere people, I will bring 1,000 Ikwere people that will affirm that they are Igbo. Since he wants us to do it this way. Say don't hear within the Ikure man talk. This one I to tell you say as the dog button done too much. You go there and you have a We don't keep quiet if Asare and he don't continue to have a patent anyhow. Because Asare carry machine years ago let her become leader of militant. Does not make any difference to me. He should at least watch how he talk. Igbos are not ungrateful people. They have done their best to protect this country called Nigeria. Especially since after the war. Upon that, Nigerians has neglected them in different ways. If not because Igbos have God's grace in them, they would have been suffering today. Like I said before, 
I will not disturb myself too much about this whole issue. I will also allow you to watch more for and those who are willing to answer to the war. With intermediate generation will understand what it means. Uh, they are about the whole, they are about the origin. Tell me the truth. You give blood to none. You don't tell them who they are. You don't tell them where they're from. You don't tell them about their ancestors. You don't tell them about their root and their origin. Tell me how they understand what we're talking about. We are talking about freedom. Some people are out there calling you people. I will tell you there is nothing like different. That South South is very different. South is very different. What is another different? We are all the original children of England. We have the three ancestors home. Eri, Alade, and Aleri. They get back to everyone. He was the first slave who wrote about our history. He gave us the details of our history. Even down to a free town called in America, they are up there, France. Are you aware? Do you know that history? When you are talking in the media, you should understand what you're talking about. I got so angry when all you, you, you media in the radio station, you sit down, you don't even know yourself, you don't even know who you are, you don't even know about yourself, and you begin to prognose things you die. A time shall come, we will make you to understand that this is Biafra land. And we are one familiar family. Anywhere around the world, even to the coastal part of the world, we are one people. Do not divide us. If you don't know what to say, leave us alone with the struggle. Nnamdi Kanum has taken us to a promised land, and nobody, no man, no woman, born of a man, that can battle the struggle. Every man or woman, boy or girl, adult or child, who has come to make sure that we want to battle the struggle, it is either the person go down, or the, black, the flag of Biafra will rise high. We have our stance, and that is what we believe. Nothing less, nothing more. Do not push us to the wall. We are warning you, and we are saying it loud and clear. Whether it's do army, do police, do media, whatever, anywhere you are. Do not push us to the wall, we must tell you. Enough is enough of all this insult. When the story is made of news, or circulated, take it and say it the way it is. I know some of you have been sponsored by some politicians. Talking about governors, governors, governors. Who are the governors? A governor that does not even claim even his younger one in his school. A governor that does not have even right to his own local family. Is it the one that will come and talk about somebody who is from Delta? Is it the one that will come and talk about somebody who is from Ogoja? He, he does not even take care of his own immediate children. Is that the governor you say we should, we should respect? Who is the governor? There are three arms of government. Arms of representative, legislators, and the judiciary. What are they doing? When we send it to go and represent us, they go there, do they come back home? They remain in Abuja. When Abuja, they go to an outside country. Do they come back to their country? Do they come back to their home? And you said that we have government. We have no governors. We have no president. We have no legislators. We have no judiciary. We have no forces. We have no security. We have nothing in this place. We are just like a prisoner's son. And our savior has come. Now that you have finished that video, let us go to another. But before that, you should agree with me that our salary is raving mad in social media. He's raving mad in social media. He said he want to, he was to go. I would like Asari to go to Asorok and the place he claimed he want to go to with one million signature, whatever. Let him go there. Also, explain to them that what we need is a referendum. It's not about he was going. And I thank God that people like Amechi has come to agree that they are Ibo. They are Ibo. Poly Ibo. People like uh, uh, Uncle Wang has come to agree that they are Abu, uh, Delta Ibo. So all those things is what we need to know, because these people we are carved out to join another state by go, go on, just to make sure he destroyed Juku. That was the plan. But today, we should not allow ourselves to be denied of our heritage. We, Ikure people, knows where we are coming from, and we should tell ourselves the truth. We should not listen to people like Hasra Tokobo or whatever. That's why we ask for a referendum. When it was it is given, we will just determine our fate. That is what we need. Please go ahead and watch the video. If I if I is an Igbo name, do you identify as an Igbo man in that sense? Uh, or do you imagine that the perceived neglect of the zone of the southeast zone could be helpful for the chances of your party in 2023? Uh, in the first instance, uh, I'm fine, and there's no doubt that I'm an Igbo man. I'm an Igbo man in the in Delta State, in the South Side Geopolitical Zone. Secondly, there is no doubt that the South East has the right of agitation, and as the South East also has the right of agitation, the North East has also continue to make claims uh, to the presidency. 
uh, because from the records available, both the northeast and the southeast have not been able to prove uh, uh, to produce a president uh, in this country as of today. I, I do believe that uh, the issues are there. These are issues that must be discussed. These are issues that must be taken into consideration as we move into the future. There's no doubt about that. I hope you have come to the terms of what we've told you. You're listening to Ifa Nyokowa. So I wonder why people still deceive themselves. I wonder men like us, why they continue to deceive themselves. I wonder why men like we can continue to deceive themselves. We don't even need them. Those of them who are denying their identity, let them go to hell and burn to ashes. I will allow the man who know how to rant so much as I to continue to rant. Now continue watching the video to the end. All the pipelines from Igbo land, their small uh, cup of oil that they produce, the pipeline, we cut it off, give them their own, no problem. We give them their own, make them go. Let the Igbos go. No problem. There will be no way uh, Alaba market, uh, Ladiqua market, uh, Kambuta market. No, all those things will no longer be there. Let the Igbos go. Let the Igbos go. Please, President Hamed Bolatinibu, I am going to write, I am going to collect signatories of over one million people all over Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We are going to send it to the National Assembly. We will march to the National Assembly. Demand that the National Assembly should allow the Igbos go. What is it right here now? No, I won't go. All of a sudden, I say, make on I go. He said, I hate red. What is it red? You want to go? Let the Igbos go. I will collect one million, mark this thing, I will collect one million signatures. One million signatures, I will march to the National Assembly. I too big for Igbo people. I too big for Naoyema. I too big for now. Who are to be? Thank you so much for watching that video. Now, those who know as a doctor should tell him that people like us say that he should do it fast. He should do it fast. If possible, go to Asso Rock. Behind the coat of arm, he should say it. Call for you both to go. That we are willing to do so. Just you should go to anywhere you want to go to. You should stop making noise in social media. But if you not do so, in Papa Nyash. <laughs>